Have you ever pondered on how electricity reaches your home, especially in urban areas or scenic landscapes? If you're picturing towering poles with tangled wires, you might want to consider the world beneath your feet, the world of underground transmission lines. These hidden heroes of our modern life are electrical power lines installed below the ground surface, helping to transmit electricity from one location to another. Not just a subterranean curiosity, these lines are often a chosen alternative to their overhead counterparts. The reasons for this choice are as varied as the landscapes they traverse. Aesthetics, environmental concerns, or urban planning considerations all play a part. These lines are like the veins of our cities, silently powering our lives while remaining out of sight. So next time you flip a switch, remember, the power might be coming from beneath your feet. But what makes these underground transmission lines tick? What are their key features? Let's delve into the nuts and bolts, shall we? One of the most vital features of underground transmission lines is the specially designed cabling. These aren't your everyday power cords. They're constructed to withstand the challenging conditions found underground. The cables are often insulated and protected to ensure the safety and integrity of the electrical transmission, keeping the lights on and your devices powered. Another key feature is the depth of installation. You might be wondering just how deep are these lines buried? Well, it's not a one-size-fits-all answer. The depth at which the transmission lines are buried can vary widely depending on factors like the local terrain, the condition of the soil, and the presence of other infrastructure. However, in general, these lines are tucked away several feet beneath the surface. Just as with their above-ground counterparts, underground transmission lines are capable of carrying high-voltage electricity. The voltage levels depend on the specific requirements of the power transmission network. So, whether it's for a bustling city or a tranquil countryside, these subterranean lines are up to the task. Now you may be curious about the power capacity of these lines. Fear not, despite being out of sight, they're definitely not out of power. Underground lines are designed to carry high levels of electricity, similar to overhead lines. The voltage levels, as you might have guessed, depend on the specific needs of the power transmission network. One might think that being underground would limit their capacity. But thanks to their ingenious design and the use of cutting-edge materials, they're able to meet the demands of even the most power-hungry cities and industries. In essence, these lines are a marvel of engineering, meticulously designed to safely and efficiently transport electricity underground. They're an unseen but critical part of our modern world, powering our lives from beneath the surface. Everything comes with its own set of pros and cons, and underground transmission lines are no exception. Let's start with the benefits. First off, we have aesthetics. Underground transmission lines are often chosen over their overhead counterparts in urban areas and scenic landscapes. Why, you ask? Because they are less visually intrusive. They don't interrupt the skyline with towering poles or tangled wires. Instead, they quietly do their job beneath our feet, out of sight and out of mind. Next, we have reduced environmental impact. These lines don't require the clearing of large areas for towers and poles. This means less disruption to wildlife habitats and less impact on the local ecology. It's a win-win for nature and our power needs. And let's not forget about reduced electromagnetic interference. Compared to overhead lines, underground lines may produce less electromagnetic interference, which can be beneficial for certain applications. However, no solution is perfect and underground transmission lines come with their own set of challenges. First among these is the cost. Installing these lines can be more expensive than overhead lines due to the cost of excavation and the need for specialized equipment. It's a hefty investment, but one that can pay off in the long term. Maintenance of these lines can also be a challenge. Since they are buried underground, accessing and repairing them can be more difficult than with overhead lines. This can lead to longer downtimes in the event of a fault, which is something to be considered during the planning stage. Lastly, there's the issue of heat dissipation. Underground lines may experience reduced heat dissipation compared to overhead lines, which can affect their capacity. This is due to the simple fact that soil is a poorer conductor of heat than air. So, while these lines offer several advantages, they also present unique challenges that need to be carefully managed. These considerations are important in deciding whether to go underground or overhead when planning a power transmission project. Just as you'd choose the right tool for a job, the choice of cables for underground transmission is crucial. 
The variety of cables used in underground transmission is vast, each with its unique properties and applications. First up, we have high-pressure fluid-filled, or HPFF cables. These are often used for long-distance, high-voltage transmission. The fluid in these cables serves a dual purpose. It not only insulates the conductor, but also helps to dissipate heat, allowing for efficient transmission of electricity. Next, let's talk about solid dielectric cables. These cables are typically used for medium to high voltage transmission. They are made from solid materials like polyethylene or rubber that act as insulators. A key feature of these cables is their resilience. They are resistant to environmental factors such as moisture and temperature, making them a reliable choice for underground transmission. Lastly, we have extruded dielectric cables. These are similar to solid dielectric cables, but have an additional layer of insulation. This extra layer is extruded, or forced, onto the cable during manufacturing, enhancing its insulation properties. These cables are often used in urban areas where high reliability is required. Each type of cable is tailored to specific conditions and requirements. Their selection depends on factors like the voltage level, distance to be covered, and the surrounding environment. To wrap things up, it's worth noting that the choice between overhead and underground transmission lines involves a careful balance of various factors. From environmental impact to cost considerations, and from aesthetics to technical requirements, each aspect plays a significant role in the decision-making process. The types of cables used, as we just explored, are one such critical factor. So, whether it's overhead or underground, the journey of electricity is a fascinating one, filled with complex decisions and intricate engineering. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.